What's up, YouTube? It's your favorite internet degenerate, the Dank, here to show you a trickster combo for anomaly builds, as well as how to build trickster now that World Slayer has come out. And I think you guys are gonna find it super duper helpful if you try playing trickster. Oh, yes, the combo. Okay. So to start the combo, first off, you empty your bullets on your pistols. Boom. And then you empty it on your slug shotgun. Boom. Okay. Just in case I forgot to make it clear to everybody. Moaning winds and radiation splash on the shotgun. Radiation splash and click combustion on the pistol. It's really just there in case I have in the back of my mind that it hasn't been four seconds yet. I don't have other skills to cast. Um, I want to inflict radiation splash or do some damage or do something. Interrupt enemies, whatever. I'm getting crowded. Okay, pistols there as a backup. I switch to pistols. I blow up. Everybody has vulnerable now. I switch back to my main gun. We're Gucci. All right. So I'm just going to show you the combo. I teleport behind with Hunt the Prey. Okay. I Temporal Blade. I maybe Time Rift. Doesn't necessarily have to be in that order. And then I start shooting. A Claymore drops. I do a headshot. They blow up. Whatever. Maybe they die. Maybe they don't. If they don't die, they have half their health left. I switch to the shotgun. Blow that up. And then shoot them again with the main gun. I should have skills off cooldown, so I should be able to spam those real quick. And then do it all again. You know, shoot, switch, blow up, back, shoot, skills, boom. Shoot again after the skills blow up. Shoot again after blowing up. Skills again. I have no skills. I use the pistols. Booms, you know? So that's where it comes in handy. Um, of course, once you have better armor than what I have, you would have much stronger natural cooldown. And you probably won't run into that issue where you're waiting for skills to come off and cool down and you have to switch to your pistol as a backup. Uh, you'll, you'll be more reliant on the shotgun, which is a good thing because Moaning Winds does a lot more damage than Clip Combustion, let me tell you. Today we're going to be going over what they changed uh, in terms of mods and um, weapons and stuff like that. For Trickster in particular. And I'm going to be giving you guys a few recommendations of what mods to switch to because some of the old mods are hella nerfed and some of the old mods have been really really buffed so you should probably be switching to those uh, i'm not covering any new mods that that came out from world slayer i'll do that in another video but for this one we're just going over all the mods that already existed pre-world slayer and what changes have been applied to them um, and which ones are now useful and um, how to pretty much build your trickster now that world slayer is out um, i switched to an anomaly build but i used to run firepower right this is the gun I used to use. Death Shield, 96.2k. Uh, Fortress, Dark Sacrifice. Both of these got nerfed. Fortress got a little bit of nerf. It went from 30% uh, damage increase to 20% damage increase. So it's still worth running, in my opinion. What isn't worth running is Dark Sacrifice. Literally, literally does nothing because you can pop on Ultimate Vulnerability Bullets. And it gives you the same benefit that Dark Sacrifice gives you, but also applies it team-wide, right? So everybody on your team can take off vulnerability mods and just leave it to the Trickster because the Trickster can't use Dark Sacrifice anymore, so he might as well use Ultimate Vulnerability. And it, it gives you that 25% bonus damage. I think it's 25%. I don't think they changed that, but we'll double check now. Increases damage received by 15%. Okay, so they nerfed vulnerability. It's not as strong as Dark Sacrifice, but it's still a much better option because it has no downside and it helps the team out, right? The only other tier three uh, firepower mod of interest would be in Bomber's Rage. But honestly, do you go for critical sh uh, shots on a shotgun? Probably not, you know? Um, you you'll get a few crits here and there, but you won't be getting them every three seconds guaranteed, right? And this this is a buff that only lasts three seconds. So I wouldn't recommend it. I'd just stick to ultimate uh, vulnerability bullet. We have, let's start with uh, Stare Into The Barrel. Stare Into The Barrel actually got buffed. It stacks less times. So overall, if you have six enemies around you, sure, you have less firepower than you used to before World Slayer. But now, if you're fighting 1v1 like a boss or something, you're gonna actually get more firepower bonus for it. So I consider this to be a buff rather than a nerf. Next up we have, do, 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 do. Uh, a little, oh, wrong, wrong mod. I switched to a little bit of pain because I'm Anomaly now, but before then, 
when I was firepower, we used pain transfer. Pain transfer got a little bit nerfed too. Uh, it was 20% weapon damage and 30% anomaly damage getting shared across everybody affected by it. Now it's 20% weapon damage and 20% anomaly damage, which means there's absolutely no difference whatsoever if you're a firepower trickster. So pain transfer got nerfed, doesn't even affect you. All right, um, armor. So before I switched to anomaly, instead of a stoppable power here, I actually had Captain Hunter. Captain Hunter got nerfed pretty hard. It lost 9% damage. But another mod that got hella buffed is Kingslayer. Kingslayer, when you critical hit an elite, all right. Now, again, I know shotguns don't really crit that often, but against elites or bigger enemies, you typically get a crit every 10 seconds. It, it works out that way. You typically get more than one a crit every, every 10 seconds. And it seems like this buff resets every time you get a crit. So you pretty much get this buff 24 seven, um, provided you're attacking an elite. That said, it gives you 64,000 honking firepower, which actually makes this stronger than Captain Hunter used to be, uh, based on what the current firepower is at. And I'm assuming this scales with your level so this number is going to go up as you level up. So overall, this is better than Cap the old Captain Hunter. So you should switch Captain Hunter for Kingslayer, right? If you're firepower. If you're not firepower, if you're anomaly build, we have a mod very similar. Where are you? Uh, do, 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 do. Where is it? Should be here not sharp eye power simulation this is the anomaly version of captain uh, hunter not as strong for sure but in a in a, an arena that has a bunch of elites holy crap does this anomaly power build up and pack a punch um another interesting firepower uh, mod that wasn't good before and is really good now Anomaly Echo. Every time you activate a skill, and believe me, you're going to be activating it more often than every six seconds, you get this bonus of 38,000 to firepower, 36,000 to anomaly power. Absolutely amazing. Um, another anomaly mod of interest critical shots increase your anomaly power. This is this one's similar to, to Captain, what is it, Kingslayer. It's similar to Kingslayer. It works on any enemy though. And it is only a six uh, second buff. Hopefully you're able to pull off those critical shots. If you're playing Anomaly, odds are you're not using a shotgun, in which case it's much, much easier to pull off these critical shots that you're going for. All right. Now on the gloves, uh, before I put arms in Anomaly here, I used to run personal space, which is now crap. Personal space, right? Not worth running at all. Don't don't take this off your weapon if you have it on there still. Not worth running at all. They buffed buckshot shells. You might as well run this instead on your firepower trickster. Because you're definitely playing shotguns. And since they buffed it, it does the same bonus. And it doesn't care how far the enemy is from you. So you can literally shoot enemies across the map with your death shield. And it'll still do a bonus of 12%. Right? Personal space, oof, they, they just murdered this mod. Don't don't run it. It is definitely not good enough. Alrighty. Uh, so instant reload hasn't changed much. Most of the time rift ones, they haven't really changed much. Doo -doo -doo. What what was the other good one? Oh yes, yeah, sharpshooter. Sharpshooter got nerfed big time. Same with bloodlust. Sharp Eye, not Sharpshooter. Sharp Eye, critical hits aiming down sight got... Uh, so they boost how much firepower you get, but they reduced how long it lasts. It used to last 20 seconds, now it lasts 5 seconds. It still stacks up to 3 times. Honestly, on a shotgun, going trying to get uh, 3 <laughs> critical hits in 5 seconds, that's ridiculous. I, I, don't, I don't think it's feasible. I don't think people are going to really be doing that. Um, this honestly seems like a mod that's more suited to Technomancer or, or like any gun other than shotgun pretty much because shotguns don't really go for headshots that often. It was better when it was killing shots, 
because shotguns kill really fast um but yeah the the nerf to how long it lasts and the nerf to how to activate it or how to get a buff um just pretty much kills it on firepower trickster that you can maybe throw in personal space uh instead of i guess i don't know i'd, I'd vote vouch for anomaly echo to be honest anomaly echo is a much uh is an acceptable substitute to sharp eye bloodlust on the other hand oof it got an even bigger nerf not only does it do less than half the firepower bonus it used to but it's also crit based and it also only lasts five seconds where it used to last i think it was 10 no sharp eye lasted 10 this one used to last 20. so yeah bloodlust got massive nerf not even worth using honestly crit stack is officially a better mod than bloodlust but i wouldn't even bother using that on a firepower build um for firepower it's it's unfortunate absolutely unfortunate but you might honestly be better off going with like purity or something silly like that um another option would be arms and anomaly so you do critical shot right and once you do a critical shot you pop twisted rounds because your anomaly power is insanely boosted from this mod and that'll increase your firepower so much more um thanks to you having this six seconds of increased anomaly power so just to just to give a demonstration here boom so that's that's what i should have so yeah that, that mod would technically like double your anomaly power so whatever bonus you get to firepower when popping twisted rounds I need to talk to Zahidi again. Zahidi. Thanks for the free cooldown. All right. So I go from 107k. Oh my god, that's awful. I would go from 107k to 196k, right? From popping twisted rounds. Now, I'm getting a couple of, of extra bonuses. Like, it's, this is more like it. I went from 100k to 150k. I think it, I got a bonus from um, Anomaly Echo, which is huge. Anomaly Echo buffs the crap out of your firepower and your anomaly power at the same time. Uh, so it dropped down to 150k. Makes sense. So you get a 50k boost from popping Twisted Rounds with absolutely nothing on. Now, let's get my concentration notes back. So this is as close as I can artificially get to having a bonus 73k or like double anomaly. All right, we gotta wait for the bonus from uh, from anomaly echo to wear out. There we go. So double boost, right? You're running a firepower trickster, and you you have um, an arms and anomaly on run uh get a critical shot in pop twisted rounds then the bonus you get from twisted rounds is literally doubled thanks to you running this one mod makes twisted power uh twisted rounds twice as good so definitely a good mod even on firepower trickster and that's a good substitute for bloodlust or anything else you might have been running that uh you just don't know how to fill up the space for that's it for firepower stuff let's go into anomaly I run Claymore always. Claymore is legit the best uh, pre-World Slayer anomaly mod for weapons in my opinion. Um, another one I would run instead of let's say Bone Shrapnel, Kinetic Stomp. Really strong. Not as good as Claymore but still really strong. Has a good range to it. Is meant for close range. Complements Hunt the Prey pretty well. Um, Deadly Disturbance has actually been carrying me pretty hard it's been doing a lot of damage and that's because i've been doing i've been getting kind of better with critical shots however if i had my way if i had my way instead of deadly disturbance i you could run shadow comet it's certainly an option i i prefer fortress to be fair I would run uh, Fortress instead of Deadly Disturbance 100% because it increases your your all your damage when you get max stacks on it. 
This is a rifle, one that I never have to reload because I still use Hunt the Prey instant reload in my build. So I, I always have this fortress buff up pretty much uh, if I had it on this weapon. Um, so that's what I would personally use. Another cool one, and this, I know I said I wouldn't talk about new mods that came out, but I happened to get this one. This one is actually as strong as Kinetic Stomp. Kinetic Stomp's right over here, by the way. Fairly, fairly strong. Not as good as Claymore. This one is as strong as Kinetic Stomp, and it doesn't care. It doesn't matter how far away from the enemy you are, because this, what this does is it basically, it, it shoots, once you shoot them, uh, it triggers Slashing Twister, and now they have a tornado following them around. It's like, it's on them, right? It's like a kind of like a buff, you know, they can't they can't outrun it or escape from it It's just following them and it gets bigger as it follows them and it damages enemies around them, too and it does uh, As as much damage as kinetic stomp. However Six seconds kinetic stomp is every four seconds um, I'm not I haven't really gotten a chance to co to competitively test them in expeditions yet, but just based on the numbers alone their damage is the same. All right. Now for armor. Let's look at the ones I, I got right now. I plan to replace stare into the barrel. And what will I replace it with? Um, we'll, we'll do that last. We'll look at that one last. Long range because I have time rift. You got to have time rift. Trespasser set is still the best set to run. I got a piece of the new set. And I got to say... It's, it's pistol focused, so it's poo-poo, all right? Don't run it. Uh, definitely trespasser set's the way to go. All right, unstoppable force. I kind of glazed over how that one works. Uh, a really must-have mod if you build pure anomaly power. If you're going hybrid, don't run it. You don't want it for hybrid. Fresh mag, reloading increases your anomaly power by 20 to 100. Now, uh, sorry, 22,000. Now, the reason why I love this mod, all right, it's it's like my new favorite tier two mod. It's better than personal space was before the World Slayer update. The reason I love this mod is because my second weapon, all right, I treat it like a melee weapon. I empty the magazine, the clip size is 10. I empty it before the fight. Once it's empty, I switch back to my main weapon and that's all I use to shoot, right? Once uh, enemies swarm me, or I'm in melee range, then mid combo, right? And I'll show you guys the combo that I, I keep mentioning a combo here, but uh, I'll need to show you guys so you can properly understand. The combo, though, aside from using my skills on Trickster, is to shoot, get all my mods on my main weapon to go off, all right, and then switch guns while I'm close range to get Moaning Winds and Radiation Splash to go off. Because I have an empty clip, he's gonna start reloading right away. The, the, the explosion's gonna happen. The enemy's gonna get vulnerable. And thanks to these gloves, this uh, Fresh Mag mod, I'm gonna get another 22,000 bonus anomaly power. So it's just a win-win-win situation. Once that explosion happens, I switch back to my main gun. I start shooting them again. Um, sure enough, the lovely two second cooldown on claymore will be over so I'll, I'll be able to get all the benefits from using this combo pretty much but I'll, I'll show you guys the combo just so you know how what it looks like when you actually put it into practice uh resistance piercing i don't really care too much about uh I, it's convenient because it's it's based on my resistance piercing and i've built full resistance piercing um, it gives me crit damage, and yeah, I suppose I go for critical shots. I mean, I kind of have to with with these mods I have, right? Uh, the mods I'd prefer to use, though, would not have critical shot activation, to be honest. So, plus there's the Pax tree as well, and the Pax tree is going to be based on critical shots. So it's a pretty good idea to stay in the habit of getting critical shots. And Resistance Piercer is not a bad mod in that case because it does boost, gives you a nice little boost to critical damage. Um, I would replace it for something like Untamed Power or Bane Ripper, uh, just stuff that benefits more from me having anomaly damage. All right, and another one, 
same old stuff a little bit of pain same old stuff it didn't get it i don't think it got nerfed but it's really strong it kills minions very easily um despite them being higher level than me right it's just able to finish off any any small fry on its own uh, which is why I don't use share the pain anymore because a little bit of pain does the same thing passively uh, arms and anomaly talked about it in detail beautiful beautiful mod Achilles heel basically resistance piercer but with a different name literally the exact same effect right more bonus damage based on resistance piercing uh, so it's a nice to have would replace it with vein vein ripper or another anomaly favoring mod reforging bullets is absolute crap i want to get rid of this armor <laughs> don't don't need that mod for anything uh on trickster and then this helmet this helmet is is perfect anomaly check cooldown reduction check skill life leech the only thing that you, you might consider changing on it it's fine i'll live with it. it it heals me more when i do my temporal blade so why not Power assimilation, um, pretty much anomaly version of, of elite killer, I guess, or elite hunter, elite killer. Um, and then anomaly echo, as you are spamming skills, you're going to find this very useful. In fact, any build should use this hybrid, uh, anomaly firepower. You should be using anomaly echo. Like it's the new top tier armor mod. I, in my opinion. And then of course I got the instant reload, which came in clutch because I found that I was dying when I ran out of bullets. Now that I have instant reload, I never run out of bullets. I never die. All right. That pretty much uh, sums it for tier three mods. So I'll just go over the tier two mods of, of interest on an anomaly build and a hybrid build, of course. Um, for weapons you have, because I will, you will have a third slot eventually. For weapons, it's honestly not a bad idea. Even if your firepower, anomaly enhancement. I'm surprised they haven't nerfed it, to be honest. It's pretty strong. Uh, another thing they buffed. Oh, it's an armor mod. Another thing they buffed, actually. Let's look at tier one for a sec. They buffed. Uh, where are you? 10% skill life. Blue blood is a must. It's a must have if you're running a hybrid build, by the way. Twisted rounds. Uh, while the skills active increases weapons firepower by additional 20%. They buff this, all right? This used to be on par with Buckshot or, or uh, what's the assault weapon version? Dum Dum ammo. It used to be on par with them. Um, both of them got buffed, so both of them are stronger now. They're both worth running in a firepower build or a hybrid build. That's the only notable change. I haven't really paid attention to temporal blade mods. Strong slice. I mean, it sure, it'll do 25% more damage every time I temporal blade. But Temporal Blade's not my main source of damage anyway, so I don't really care about it. Alright, same with Tier 3. Uh, boost Armor. Yeah, don't care. Uh, damage enemies are additionally cut with Anomaly Slice, dealing another 50% damage. Okay. So I can boost my damage on it 75%. It's not my main source of damage. It's my... It's what I use to, to buff up, basically. So, that's okay. I'm not going to bother with those kind of mods. Um, that's it for interesting mods on tier 1. Tier 2, Untamed Power. It's, it's at the bottom. They made everything alphabetical, so it should be easier to find stuff if you just remember the names. Untamed Power right here. Um, it's a pretty decent, pretty decent mod to run on Anomaly or Hybrid. Um, I used to run Borrow Time instead of Hunt the Prey. And I would use aggressive teleportation because it does a lot of damage. But then I tried untamed power and I found that untamed power, even on a hybrid build, would do as much damage as aggressive teleportation, surprisingly. Um, so it's, it's a mod that a lot of people will be sitting on 
and definitely a good filler mod or if you have a lot of three slots you definitely want one of them to be untamed power vein ripper another mod of uh that's that gets sit on a lot right it's the only mod that you can put on an armor that lets your gun actively inflict a status effect that uh does anomaly damage right there's no there's nothing for burning there's nothing for toxic um there might be some for vulnerability or weakness or something like that but this is the only one that allows you to inflict a damaging status effect which is bleed very useful for an anomaly build you can combine it with vampiric mag so you you have an extra net to make sure you never run out of bullets on your main gun and of course you could always run run it with um mods like tainted blood you know boosted damage so yeah those are those are all pretty good options for as far as tier 2 anomaly uh, mods go um crit stack honestly the the bonus it gives is just too weak it's not worth running any anything that gives a bonus to your anomaly power in tier 2 um there's tier 3 superior counterparts so look at tier three to increase your anomaly power and you look at tier two to find new ways to deal damage based on anomaly power like bane ripper like untamed power tier two mods are kind of not worth using anymore with the latest update just just the rare few like bane ripper and untamed power and the few neat ones like uh like toxic versions for technos and whatnot but we're not here to talk about that it's all about the trickster baby oh right because I, I got rid of the cool the cooldown reductions, since I have good armor that gives me good enough cooldown, I went for Leap of Quietus. So I get bonus armor piercing, because Twisted Rounds actually does bullet normal damage. It doesn't do anomaly damage. So I, I ran Leap of Quietus, and this is what you would run if you wanted to. You could swap in uh, cooldown if you prefer. Uh, but this is what you'd run if you want to do a world record solo run build. As for packs, you've got two options for Firepower Trickster, right? You've got Damaged, uh, bu 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 Adaptation, Phasing, and then Superposition increases your damage mitigation against Elites. So you take less damage from Elites uh, after using a movement skill. And then special tactics, which is doing continuous damage against elites, um, increases your damage against them, and it stacks up to 10 times. So you do 30% more damage against the elites. I consider this to be very underwhelming. The other stuff is pretty cool. You get uh, a team shield, so your team can start bringing mods that are shield based. Uh, you get more firepower, thanks to adaptation, uh, whenever you activate any skill whatsoever. And then you any uh whenever you shoot with your twisted rounds and you land a shot you get a bonus 10 percent damage for five seconds so that's one route you could go as a firepower um the more popular one probably will be this one where you get trigger man so whenever you use um your time rift and your what was it even called i keep forgetting the name hunt the prey whenever you use uh time rift and hunt the prey in tantum with each other Boom, you got 20% more, 30% uh, more damage right there. For how long? Doesn't tell you. I'm sorry, I don't know. It, it should say. Devs, if you're watching, add this information to your uh, node descriptions. Melee, class melee skill uh, lowers armor and resistance. That's a horrible one. You would definitely want to go with Lies Deception. So whenever you do your time rift, you get 60% of your shield over a span of 4 seconds very useful for being a tank fail safe protocols another very defensive mod very nice touch to give to a trickster um, these are basically what keeps you alive right not that you need it since you're not running dark sacrifice anymore it should be easy to stay alive and get kills but these help out in a, in a no small way and then you'd want to run goals beyond understanding um, what this does is however long it affects time rift affects enemies for four seconds five seconds whatever it is while they're floating up there like that 
each shot you take on them has a chance to do triple damage. A 25% chance to do triple damage. Hugely insane. You combine it with pain transfer, that damage gets shared across the board. And then there's this one right here next to it, which shares even more damage. Whatever the killing shot you do, um, it applies 200% of that damage divided amongst other enemies affected by that deception skill. So it, it like super boosts pain share. Um, so that's definitely what you'd probably be running if you're still running Death Shield Firepower Trickster. All right, enough about firepower because I feel like it got nerfed really hard. I want to talk about Anomaly, which is what I'm using now. Anomaly. And, and hybrid we can talk about as well. Um, you got this route. Extended distance considered close range by 2 meters. All enemies share 20% weapon damage. Not worth running in my opinion. Uh, just like this one. This, the elite one wasn't worth running. The pistol one... I wouldn't say it's worth running either. Um, so yeah, you got three three branching paths that are pretty much doo-doo. <laughs> and then you've got three that are actually pretty good. So for hybrid and anomaly, I'll just I'll combine them together because they, they pretty much use the same stuff, to be honest. There we go. Disturbance coding. Let's get all my good stuff back. Okay. Um, you continue build, collecting concentration nodes and this one. All right. So as a hybrid, this is how far you build into the anomaly tree. And then you would start building upwards to grab these three, right? And then you can get deadly shadow alternatively, because I have eight points. I have enough to do this. You could build close range weapon damage, armor piercing, weapon damage, um, crit or cooldown up to you and then close range weapon damage so that's a total of six and then you have two left so you can get both of these still that way as well it's up to you really uh, pick and choose whichever you like if you go for pure anomaly though you definitely continue this tree you ditch twisted rounds altogether. You don't run twisted rounds because there's too many nodes that make uh, running twisted rounds a bad idea. And then you got one extra, so I just put that into cooldown. All right, so this is how you'd build for pure anomaly. Um, Pax tree, you have pretty much two options. You could technically go the deception route as well. Why would you though? Assault weapons, they're not known for high damage per shot like shotguns are so it, it would make a lot less sense to do that um your two paths on hybrid and anomaly for the most part damaged adaptation phasing of course and then harrowing which i'm probably gonna i might go with i'm not i'm undecided um i like the fact that it res increases resistance piercing it goes along with my mod however it doesn't increase it that much and the final skill feels like it suits hybrids more because twisted rounds is a damaging skill and to have a damaging skill deal 15 percent more uh damage based on your anomaly power every consecutive shot right is perfect on twisted rounds unlike temporal blade where it's like i only do this every eight to ten seconds it's not going to be worth it right <clears throat> this boss is going to get killed by something else or this elite's going to get killed by something else well before i get to the max stack of 750 percent so on a hybrid build you'd probably go this route me i'm not hybrid i'm pure anomaly i don't use twisted rounds so i went this route trigger man i can have all three skills all three of my skills on cooldown so i get 45 percent bonus damage just from that uh i get super shield whenever i use a deception skill I get super shield whenever my health drops low, so I'm unkillable basically. And then power overwhelming. Um, it's like having another pocket twisted rounds. It's like having twisted rounds without having twisted rounds, if that makes sense. Twisted rounds increases your firepower by like 45% of your anomaly power. This increases it by 40%. Pretty much twisted rounds. And then there's perpetuum trickery. 
Um, you do critical shots and you should be going for critical shots as much as you can. And it increases your anomaly power, it stacks. And then when you use your damage skill, it uses up all the stacks. Your assault weapon damage is increased by 50% for seven seconds. It's, it kind of makes it seem like, oh, it's kind of a bad idea to use your anom uh, use your damage skill. But at the same time, as long as you time the combo right, and I'll show you guys the combo in a minute. As long as you time the combo right for a an not pure anomaly build, um, you're able to make the most out of that bonus 50% anomaly power. And then you do the slice, the temporal blade, and then you can make the most out of your assault weapon damage as well right after. And uh, I think that covers everything. How to build Trickster, both firepower, anomaly slash hybrids. I hope uh, it helps you guys out. I look forward to uh, seeing what uh, builds you guys suggest and look forward to seeing what new mods come out with that I can show you guys in the next installment of How to Build Trickster. All right. Thanks again for stopping by. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you internet degenerates in the next one.